Hi YouTube, I'm here making my update. Um, my little girl is over there playing, so you're going to hear happy baby sounds in the background. And I have one nappy on the couch, so hopefully we'll cooperate for a couple of minutes so I can update you. So today is day one of my three-day jumpstart liquid, hybrid liquid diet. Um, and right now, it is about 3.30. I'm actually doing pretty well. I was really worried this morning because I woke up and I really wanted breakfast, which is really weird because I usually don't even eat breakfast. I'll just get up and have a coffee and be good to go. But this morning I wanted food really bad and I think it's because I knew I couldn't have any. So I was like craving an omelet and I wanted hash browns and I wanted toast and I wanted like anything salty. My issue with liquid diets is always that I get sick of the sweet shakes and, um, for this particular one, I'm not supposed to have like soup or broth or anything. I'm supposed to really stick to the protein shakes. So it's probably going to get a little bit rougher for me as time goes on doing the sweet shakes. But right now, it's about 3.30 and I am sitting here sipping on some excellent iced coffee protein that I made. Mm. It's actually really good. Um, I told myself I wasn't going to do coffee on this diet not a diet, whatever, my jump start. Um, but you know what? If I'm giving up food, I need that cough. I need my coffee fix. I did do my tea in the morning and that was good. I had a blueberry green tea, which was really good. It had kind of a tart blueberry taste to it. And then I had, I've had, let's see, a breakfast shake. My breakfast shake was vanilla J-Rob protein, with half a frozen banana um, and three tablespoons of vanilla Greek yogurt and then I mixed it with water and blended it up and it was really good. I actually like vanilla shakes I think the best. Chocolate typically isn't my favorite um, but every once in a while I'll crave chocolate and that's cool. When I buy protein I usually don't buy chocolate because I wouldn't want it on like a regular basis. I just like the flexibility of being able to mix things into a vanilla shake. Sorry, I'm looking really haggard again, but we spent the day at the pool. We had to get out of the house because I didn't want to be around like food or be tempted to snack on anything. So we went to the pool for the afternoon and that's why I have a napper now, which is excellent. It's a great side effect of taking your kids to the water. Um, so yeah, I've been doing pretty well. I think the hardest time of day for me is going to be this evening. Mm, it's so good. I do get to have a salad for dinner, which will be great. I get to put some lean protein on top, and I get to have a lot of veggies. Um, so I'm planning on just trying to fill up on veggies and uh, probably go to bed early if my kids will cooperate because I am an evening snacker, and my three-year-old has taken that habit up to he likes to stay up late with me and eat cookies and snack on things. Um, horrible. So we are both going to have to kick that habit and uh, we'll see how that goes. So my evening snack monster I know is going to come out to bite me and I don't know what I'm going to do but I have to power through. I might get in the habit of making some tea or something in the evenings. Uh, I have lots of decaf um, herbal teas. I'll try that maybe. I don't know but this is actually surprisingly kind of like a little treat. I mean, this time of the afternoon, I typically want a snack when my kids are napping or I have a, a little bit of time to myself to sit here. She's happy and he's sleeping. So I typically would go grab something to eat and like veg for just a little while. But this is working. This coffee is, it tastes like a Starbucks Frappuccino. Um, what I put in this was one scoop of vanilla J-Rob. I did, um, I did about a third of a cup of frozen Greek vanilla yogurt. And then a couple of ice cubes, six ounces of water, two teaspoons of instant coffee, and then I put just a teeny little pinch of cocoa powder in it just to kind of bring out the flavor of the coffee. It's excellent. 
excellent. I have to say it blended up. It's melted a little bit, but it was nice and thick, just like a frappuccino. Pretty good. Um, I really like the J-Rob protein because it doesn't taste gritty to me. It dissolves completely. And it's been the only one that I can mix with water and not milk and have it still taste decent and not like I'm choking it down like it tastes like a good drink. Um, so I'm, I'm considering maybe trying Shakeology. Um, I have a friend who sells that. I also have another friend who sells Body by V. A lot of you are trying to peddle me your shakes right now because I've been posting on Facebook about doing this. Um, and I may. I may try them at some point. We'll see. I got my box of Nutrisystem today. Oh my gosh, I have to show you guys. I actually put it in my cupboard. Let's say hi to Shiloh for a second. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Say hi. <gasps> hi. There she is. Okay. Let's go and see if I can show you my Nutrisystem cupboard. Voila. Look at all this. I've organized it. We have dinners over here. We have lunches in the middle. Dinners are in red. Lunches are in orange. And then we have all the desserts are sort of piled up over on the side. It's hard to organize little bags of things. Um, then, okay, over here, next to my coffee maker, I decided to put all my breakfasts because in the morning I will get my tea, which I have set out, or my coffee, and then I can go ahead and grab a blueberry muffin, a chocolate muffin, whatever else I want um, for breakfast. So I'm pretty excited. It was kind of hard to put away the Nutrisystem food this afternoon because I really wanted to eat it because I haven't had any food today. But overall, for day one, I think I'm doing pretty well. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to continue sitting here and finish up my protein coffee and ride out this nap and enjoy my time for as long as it lasts. Um, I think I told you the other day I'm not starting my exercise system until I start eating actual food. The program that I'm on right now for the three-day jump start recommends just sort of taking it easy most of the time while on this. Um, I actually have not felt hungry. It's I'm dealing with like all head hunger. That's all it is. I just want to eat something and I want something salty instead of sweet. But I need to learn to power through that because I have the worst willpower. I've never had good willpower. So I'm going to have to fix it. Um, anyway, cheers. And I will talk to you all later for day two of my liquid jumpstart.